resultado de la prueba de evaluación de habilidades tecnológicas y para poder hacer este lanzamiento y poder eh, darle aún más importancia trajimos a invitados internacionales dentro de los cuales está el doctor eh, Van Dijk que tiene una mirada muy importante para nosotros porque él habla de cierre de brecha pero no cierre solo de brecha de acceso sino que cierre de la brecha digital y el desarrollo de estabilidad. Y por otra parte hemos invitado a los expertos de ISTE en el sentido de que nos pudiesen hablar y decir cómo poder eh, potenciar aún más el desarrollo de estabilidad en la escuela. En futuros trabajos you need a lot of digital skills, you know, to take them. And the problem sometimes is that they have already experienced these students uh, using uh, uh, computers for gaming, for social media, Facebook and the like. And then they go to a school uh, class and then it seems to be completely different. My message would be that uh, teachers should take a account, account on the motivation of these students, use this experience also in the schools. And not to say, well, stop away with using your mobile phone, stop with Facebook, this is school, this is completely different. When we think about developing ICT skills, what we really want to do is we want to step back and we want to say to ourselves, what is the outcome? What is it that we really want to be able to do with these technologies? So the first conversation to take place with the teachers, with the students, with the parents, and the broader community is, is that question of what do we want them to be able to do. We want to know what it is we want them to be able to do with the technology. La reflexión interna pasa por la estabilidad que hay en los datos. Si bien en, en forma intuitiva sabíamos que como nosotros lo que perseguimos es el desarrollo de habilidades, sabemos también que las habilidades se desarrollan en, en el largo en largo tiempo y por tanto no espera, esperábamos que no subieran tanto. As far as the the study itself and the survey, that's a really important place to start because you really do have to get a sense for where your students are in regards to technology, their comfort level, their access. The fact that there wasn't a significant change over a period of time is not really that surprising because again we talked about intervention. The technology itself is not the intervention. It's all of these changes that take place in the teaching and learning process that are the intervention and that's where you're going to start to see the difference and those kinds of changes take time. Well, I'm very pleased to know uh, about uh, the strategy, the vision in Chile of uh, implementing ICT in schools because they don't take before uh, for the technology, they look much more for education. So many countries in which they think about when people have a uh, computer, have the device, have the software, then the problem is solved. In Chile they know they better need better uh, uh, educational tools and that uh, teachers will be able to use it and teachers have to be trained to use for it. <laughs>